yes, fits from two days ago. That's right. And it's a real sport. The event was set up by a bloke affectionately referred to as the Goose Rooter. But he was busy. So I chatted to some of the people competing. Oh, yeah, it's a bit of, bit of fun, you know. Come and have a play, make some noise, do a wheelie. Uh, we put a V16 Detroit out of a T-Rex dump truck in it. And we've got a four-speed Allison transmission behind it. I guess that's definitely not the tractor you go and uh, play all the crops with anyway. Oh, really, no, it probably, would, it probably wouldn't last very long. It would probably overheat and die. Oh, I've had a go on the other one a couple of times, but no, nah, this is the first time I've got this one, so uh, yeah, see if we can break it. Nice. I've admired quite a few mullets around here. Can you point me in the direction of anyone with a decent lid? Oh, I wouldn't say decent, but we've got someone growing there. That's a start, so uh, yeah. Mate, um, I'm, I'm struggling with mine at the moment, so uh, you got any tips for me? Just give it time. It'll get there eventually. Unfortunately, there was a small hiccup with the sled. So while the boys tried to get it up and running again, we managed to get a quick word with the goose rooter himself. You've got to tell me about the nickname, mate, please. Oh, right, nickname. Uh, yeah, well, that come from a hatred of broken down Kenworths, a bottle of uh, whiskey and several jam fingers in a gooseneck trailer. So there was no small farm animals involved in the name, nickname of that. With that all cleared up, I asked him about the event. So we've been doing it here in Mayfield for the last four years with a different style of sled. So I've built the uh, sliding weight uh, transfer sled, similar to the, what the Americans have. This thing behind us, uh, tell me about that. Ah, uh, well, that I built a couple of years, well me and my daughter built a couple of years ago, V8 engine out of a D-series Ford, so it was originally about 60 horsepower. With that engine in it, it is about 215. She gets a wee bit scary. Hey, it's there if you want to go, don't be shy, don't be shy. Yeah, slap it in gear, give us some revs and away you go. It's like riding a bike, except it's a tractor. <laughs> so I was about to get behind the wheel, and safe to say confidence was high. I have no idea what I'm doing. But after an in-depth driving lesson, Watch down there. I was ready to race. The crowd was fizzing. I just had to remember what they'd told me. Yeah, slap it in gear, give us some revs and away you go. Just give it time. It'll get there eventually. It's like riding a bike. It's a bit of, bit of fun, you know. That was, uh, I report a guy from somewhere on Robbie's tractor. 